well, Paul, we uh, shared the points we hold today. How did you see the game? Yeah, listen, it was it? Listen, the game was okay. The game was okay. I think the most important thing was to kind of stop the rot. Um, obviously, we've lost the last four. Obviously, against teams in the top five. Uh, and today, you know, we didn't start off too well. We looked a bit leggy the first 10, 15 minutes. Conceded a goal, and that kind of jerked us into reaction. Um, had some great moments, you know, where we could have two or three goals. Uh, and I think when we got the goal from AC, I think it was more than justified. It was on the front foot. Um, and just, just not, things not falling for us and that, you know. So going in at half time, I said to the players, listen, you know, the next goal wins it. You know, the next goal wins it. And um, that never came. We had opportunities there, one or two opportunities. So I think, you know, when you look at how tough it's been for us, you know, with such a small squad now and injuries after injuries after injuries, um, to not get beat today was, was important to keep picking points up. Um, and it's, listen, don't care whether it's Hull because they have a very good side. Well, they've, they've, they've spent a few quid. They've, as again, these are players that have, this is teams that have strengthened in, in January. We haven't. I think we need to get that crystal clear. We've not strengthened at all. All these other teams have. So we look at our bench and what we've got. It's a tough gig. It's a tough gig. But listen, the boys, I'm proud of the boys. They're hanging in there. A lot of them were out on their feet after 65, 70 minutes. Um, they dug in there. They dug in there and you know, got a point. So I'm pleased with that. And it, as you said, tougher in the games in the mm. sense that in an unrelenting schedule as usual, small squad, and you know, with some of the, the, the challenges we've had, like injuries today as well. Yeah. And the, these things, <clears> these things are tough on a squad, aren't they? They're tough on a squad, and I think everyone has to realise that. Everyone, and, and that's the fact. You know, we just lost Tom Mac now. He's probably four, five, six weeks. Shane Long's out for two months. You know, people, people need to see that. You know, and it's important that we we get behind the boys, it's so, so important because this club's fought relegation four times at the last five, five times, you know, getting behind the, get, not, not get behind the boys ain't going to help, okay, so it's important where we are and, um, you know, what we've got coming down the road, <clears throat> we all stick together. That's it, I mean, yeah, like, again, three points would have been lovely today, but, you know, mm. we've got a chance now just to reset a little bit, you know, in that mm. break, get hopefully some freshness in the legs, I know we've got some players to recover and so on. And, just, you know, look forward to those. Yeah, those yeah. Days. Listen, I think, you know, when it's international break coming up, the most important thing is you don't get beat because then you haven't got to kind of, if you get to lose the game, it takes you two weeks to get over it. You know, it really, really does. And um, so that was the most important thing. Um, and, and obviously, um, it would have been a nice three points here. It would have been nice, but that's another point to where we want to get to. You know, all the teams haven't, you know, there's other teams around us who are getting beat. So we're we picking up points. Yes, it's not the greatest game we played but listen it's not about that we're at a time now where it's about collating points not playing beautiful football or this or that you know what I mean we get Joe's getting booed because we're not going straight up the park to, you know if, if you can't kick it you can't kick it the worst thing that can happen to this club was lose the game today you know and that's what we've got to understand um, so anyway listen I'm pleased with the point I thought the lads put a good shift in and we go again we've got two weeks off now we can well I say trying to regroup and get our injuries back but they're, they're long term ones so that's not even the case so um we're going to hopefully see if we can get Baba back. I'm not sure how far. Yak could be back. Uh, that's it. So, listen, we go again. Eight games. I'm going to see what takes us. Uh, so obviously, that's the, the final stretch. So, mm. as I say, this, this probably these two weeks will be important just to kind of get that freshness in, in the mind, in, in the legs to, to a degree. So, well. say again. Get a bit of freshness in the mind and the freshness in the legs over these two weeks because that big stretch now to the end of the season is going to be absolutely crucial. Yeah, it? it's going to be crucial. And, you know, as, as I said, the lads were out on their feet the last 60, 60, 20 minutes of their game. So, to have that little break where they, they're still be coming and doing some work, don't get me wrong, but um, it's just nice that they can have a little rest, regroup, and they say five weeks for the season finishes when we get back. So, listen, I'm, AC wasn't at his... 100%.